Hi, I'm Bob Summers. I'm a tax attorney in San Francisco and welcome to Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar where we drink lattes and we talk about tax. Today I'm going to discuss the taxation of NFTs, non-fungible tokens. This is the latest craze in the digital asset world. Now, many of you are using your highly appreciated cyber currencies to acquire NFTs. What you need to know about that is every time you use your cyber currency to either trade for another currency or buy a token or use it in any way like money, that's a taxable transaction. Cyber currencies are considered assets. They are not considered currency, which means you're taxed immediately every time you use your cyber currency. Let me give you an example. Let's say Harry purchased cyber currency for $1,000 and six months later, when it was worth $100,000, he purchased some NFTs with that cyber currency. Harry has a $99,000 gain. And because he did not hold the cyber currency for more than a year, he has what's called a short-term capital gain. And that can be taxed as high as 50%, depending on whether or not he's going to pay state taxes. Another issue with NFTs that's kind of unique to them is that they're considered a collectible. They're not considered an investment asset. And because they're considered a collectible, the long-term capital gain rate, that's the rate when you hold an asset for 12 months or longer, the long-term capital gain rate is 28%. In contrast, the highest long-term capital gain rate for cyber currencies, stocks, bonds, real estate, and other investment assets is 20%. So an NFT is effectively taxed 40% higher than other assets. Now keep in mind with proper planning, you can greatly reduce your taxes on cyber currencies, NFTs, and other digital assets. Uh, but you need to know what the rules are and you need to plan ahead. Also, you can uh, protect yourself uh, against you know, a serious downfall uh, with these currencies with the proper planning. Also keep in mind, that U.S. taxpayers are taxed on their worldwide income. It doesn't matter whether you own an asset in San Diego, Paris, Rome, or Beijing. If you own the asset, the IRS could care less where it is. If there's any gain to be associated with that asset, it's taxable to you under U.S. tax return. In addition, if you're holding cyber currencies, NFTs, or digital assets on a foreign exchange, you need to be very careful because if that foreign exchange is considered a bank, you have additional tax reporting requirements with very stiff penalties. So in conclusion, you really need to know the rules regarding cyber currencies and NFTs and how they're taxed because it's a trap for the unwary. If you have any questions about cyber currency, NFTs, foreign assets, or any other tax questions, please drop me a line. If you found this video helpful, please like it on YouTube. Please visit my website for more videos, publications I've written, articles, and commentaries about the U.S. tax system. Until next time, this is Bob Summers, tax attorney in San Francisco from Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar, hoping you'll join me for my next session.